for you live in an area with way too much light pollution and you just cannot get those nighttime photos that I get on this channel, well, let me help you. You see, when trying to take astro photos with your phone, light pollution is the biggest killer. You need to get away from those towns. But if they're too far away from you, We've got a workaround. G'day guys, Shane Austin here. I do two videos each and every week all about small sensor photography, usually mobile phones, usually in really low light situations. So if you wanna take photos like these, well, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you know what I'm doing each and every week. I'm talking about Photoshop camera. It's an augmented reality camera. It's available on iOS and Android. What is augmented reality? You've probably seen it before. There's three key features for augmented reality. Firstly, it's a combination of real world and virtual world. It needs real time interaction between those worlds. And it needs an accurate combination in three dimensions of that virtual world and that real world. This technology has been around for a while and it's incredibly popular with games. Mainly things like Pokemon Go where kids run around with their phone and use their camera on the phone to capture objects that are out there, Pokemon, and bring them into the phone or something like that. Lots of kids do it, <laughs> there's even adults that do it, but you get what I mean. It's a very, very popular technology. Now we can use it in photography. And if you've been watching videos on my channel for a while, you know I use an app called PhotoPills to do a lot of my planning. And that uses augmented reality. I go into PhotoPills, go into night AR, AR, augmented reality, and I look at the night sky at daytime so I can plan my shots. So that's what augmented reality is, but how do we use this app? Well, there's two ways. The first way to use it, and probably the easiest way to use it, is with a photo that you've already taken. So if we go into PS camera, go into camera roll, and we're going to scroll through until we find a photo that we want. Let's use this one here I took out a few weeks ago for another video over there at Mount Hope. Now you can see there, this video, this photo here will work really well because the sky is nice and clear. And that's kind of important for using this app. Down the bottom left hand corner you've got lenses. Hit on lens and you download these and they're all free from Adobe. And what I'm going to do first is I'll go into Interstellar. First one, look at what it does to the sky there. It's just amazing what it does. We can scroll left or right and we can see the sky is changing the whole way through this. And that's, that's basically as simple as it can be. Uh, I'll show you another one. We'll go over to the celestial one and we'll, we'll rotate through those lenses as well. Then you can see there it's changing the sky through all of those and it's, it's really quite effective. Um, and the second way to do it is by using this as a camera. Now to use this as a camera, you're going to want a subject to photograph. And today we're using this excavator here, this Komatsu 22 ton excavator. Now to use the camera on this app, it's basically a case of, well, when it opens, it's already on the camera. You use those lenses just like you did before. And if we look at the excavator here, I'm not gonna lie, it's very heavily contrasted because the sky is so bright and the shade of the excavator here is quite dark, obviously. But you get the idea. If it is a little bit darker, this will work a lot better. So we basically scroll through all those filters or lenses, if you like, just like that. But as I said, such an excavator, such a machine like this, you want that really wide angle lens. So that's on the side there. If we go to 0.5, it zooms right out. And you can see that's going to be a pretty good shot. But because the sky is so bright and because the high contrast, we're just gonna take a photo of this. So I'm just gonna go back into the camera app. Camera settings that I use here is on RAW, Pro RAW, so it's 12 Pro Max camera. I'm going to look at the machine there, go to ultra wide. I'm gonna move a little bit so that sun is hopefully I can get down low enough so it's behind the machine. Not quite the machine. Take the photo, that's it. So the general rule of thumb when I'm taking photos with this app, if it's too bright like it is right now, I'll generally just take the photo with the camera app and then use that app later on and use the first method that I showed you. In a lower light situation, especially at night, this works incredibly well at night, um, use the app to take the photo. Once we've done those, you can throw it into the Lightroom and well, this is what you get. That's it for today guys. If you wanna learn how to take actual photos with actual stars, with actual machinery, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next week. Catch you later.